Hello everyone and welcome. For today, I will play Epic the Vapala campaign, the poor scenario, Liberation. And let's do it. It is in one's own mind, not their enemy or foe, that lures them to evil ways, said the Buddha. As I feared, our emperor had indeed changed. The seed of self-righteousness planted long ago and nurtured by uninterrupted success, had begun to bear fruit. In Devapala's mind, the ends now justified the means, no matter how terrible or costly. And so he ordered a campaign to the south to subjugate the Pandyas, a proud people who were former allies and trading partners of his, and bring them the teachings of the Buddha. When word of this reached me, I burst into my emperor's chambers, begging him to reconsider. Needless aggression is not the mark of a virtuous ruler, I said, and forced conversion only thickens the resolve of a people against the creed. I told him that this war would cost thousands of lives and bring suffering to countless more. But the words that once guided him towards the path of light now fell on deaf ears. It is as one is the summit of the mountain that the footing becomes most treacherous. Now all I could do was helplessly watch as the armies of a tyrant descended upon a new victim. Alright, so main objectives, defeat the Pandyas by destroying their castles, alright. On the Vapala begins at the period age, but it's restricted to population limit of 150. Be aggressive, you have a limited number of villagers and can fish the sea. But your main source of supplies will be conquering enemy settlements. Mainly ships regenerate your hit points over time. Preserving damage ones will save you precious resources. Don't destroy what you can conquer. Leveling an enemy castle will give you control of the nearby buildings. Concentrate on your objectives. Delay too much and you could quite well run out of resources. Oh gosh. So yeah, that would be one of these that we should run on a, like do a very very blitzkrieg strategy. Okay, the Vapal Yalu and his forces approach Pandya borders and are ready to expand their domain to the south. The Pandya Spring controls several settlements along the Bay of Bengal. Their forces of infantry and ranged units are initially no match for the Fall Art, but should be dealt with before they are able to bolster their resistance. Okay, the Rash, Trakutas, and that's what is related to the achievement. Purple rule the lands beyond the mountains of the west, northwest, and north. Your food soldiers and elephants have not engaged the policy yet, but as a no rival, they should be washed with caution. Okay, and we must destroy their monument, their wonder, before it is completed, so that was super hard. Your wish is my command, cousin. I will bring the feeble bandiers to here, whatever the cost. I am not so sure about this venture, venerable Devapala. War only creates more dissatisfaction and suffering, not less. Our ability to obtain supplies is limited. We should look to the sea for food and plunder the contents of enemy castles. You must conquer these lands. Please do so as swiftly and as bloodlessly as you can. Every drop of blood spilled is a step away from your enlightenment. For once, there is sense in the advisor's words. If we construct a fleet, we can level the Pandya fortifications from the sea.
Oh crap. Defended is ours now. Bala armies venturing this far south. What are you doing, there, Bala? if I kill more than 100 units there is no achievement so maybe I should do it but yeah maybe something really bad will happen Shibai, <laughs> Will you enforce your dogmatic rule? Do my shiba or rock in the hammer? Do my shiba.
তোমার সেবায় হয় আমি যাই Your conduct has inspired monks to bring the world to good and pure subjects. We have leveled the Pandya Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. The Pandya lands are ours now, cousin. Your glory knows no bounds. This is outrageous. We will not sit idly by as you oppress our neighbors. Prepare for war. হরিদ না মেতে তোমার সে হরিদ না মেতে আমি যাই তো তোমার সে আদেশ আমি যাই তো রে হে আদেশ তুই হয় খননকারী হে
Rashtrakuta Castle lies in ruins. Secure the buildings and continue our thrust into enemy territory. Hi, hi, Jai. Horib na me. Ami Jai. Adesh. Will the supplies that you plunder be enough to feed your starving army? Ami Jai. this rashtrakuta castle lies in ruins secure the buildings and continue our thrust into enemy territory are you going to kill me devapala Your dear mother hail from these lands, Devapala. Your invasion spits on her memory. All right. Abish? Hey, hi. Shuttu, I'm Kachaya. Hi. I'm Ichai. Nirmani Kari. Kari. You dare threaten our glorious temple? Your arrogance has led you to destroy this great temple. And for what? Lord Buddha weeps while the gods shut up their eyes in scorn. Your marauding will not break the resolve of my people. Our okay, that was quite sad, Yanning, but we did it. Even though it was quite violent, apparently. You only lose what you cling to, said the Buddha. Devapala found that to be all too true. The more he tightened his grip on the South, the more it, or perhaps more accurately its ashes, slipped through his fingers. My emperor and his bellicose cousin had created a nightmare. There was no cheer or pride to be felt. As the Pala army struck its tents and began the long march back home, the stench of death and smoke choked the air, punctuated by the haunting wares of the broken people that my emperor and his forces left behind. Tormented by the recognition of his arrogance and its price, Devapala breathed not a single word during the entire week-long journey home. Right. Ooh, that was quite a lot of units. And yeah, some conversions. Two actually. And even though I never created a single villager, I had a lot to do with the uh, fishing boats. So 
world. There is a lot of a lot of mountains here. Very cool. And there is a barricade here, so that's the weak spot. That's another great thing. But there is a big weak spot that you can use in order to run here and actually destroy the temple. Yeah, but we just went with the direct route and it worked it. So yeah, GG folks. <laughs> Very well done. Um, yeah, I had a lot of concentration at the beginning. Wasn't sure what what weight, but then getting the relics was very important. GG, very good.